planning and timing of field collection is critical. For all species, it is usually most efficient to scout the potential collection site well in advance to ensure your desired species is present at suitable densities. The species of biocontrol agent and weather characteristics at your collection and release sites will determine the best time in the season to collect. Information specific to your agent of interest can be found in many useful extension publications, such as the Field Guide for Biological Control of Weeds in the Northwest. This and other useful publications can all be found at iBioControl.org. You can also contact your local or state weed biocontrol authority for timing suggestions specific to your area. Prior to collection, ensure that all necessary collection supplies are on hand and that you can guarantee accurate identification of the biocontrol agent. Collect only on a day with good weather. Do not collect in the rain. This is because many agents will hide and be difficult to find in rainy weather. Excess moisture causes adverse effects and biocontrol agents may drown in wet collection containers. The only exception to this rule of thumb is the collection of some biocontrol pathogens for which overcast and rainy days are optimal for collection. There are several methods for field collecting weed biological control agents. The best method depends on the species being collected, the abundance of the biocontrol agent at the collection site, the target weed, and the conditions at the collection site. Some of the most common methods are described in the next section of this video. In separate videos, we explain how to sort, store, and transport the biocontrol agents you collect. Sweep nets are typically made of cotton or muslin on a hoop 10 to 15 inches in diameter attached to a handle 3 feet long. You can buy them from entomological, forestry, and biological supply companies or you can make them yourself. As their name implies, they're heavy-duty nets used to sweep biocontrol agents off weeds. A sweep is made by swinging the net through the plant canopy. For hard-bodied insects like beetles, it's best to use no more than 25 sweeps before removing the insects from the net. Adult moths and flies are very fragile, so sweeping is not usually the best method for collecting those. If you do sweep adult moths and flies, only make five sweeps at a time. Removing the sweep contents at regular intervals reduces the damage that can happen from knocking biocontrol agents around with rocks and twigs, and it reduces the opportunity for predatory insects and spiders from finding and devouring your biocontrol agents. An aspirator is a device used to suck biocontrol agents from a surface, such as a net or beet sheet, into a collection pile, though it can also be used to remove some biocontrol agents directly from plants. A variety of aspirators can be purchased from entomological, forestry, and biological supply companies, or you can construct them yourself. Mouth-powered aspirators contain rubber tubing for inhaling and an insect tube for collecting insects into a storage vial. Inline filters are commercially available to prevent unintentional inhalation or swallowing of particles or debris during mouth aspiration. At the very least, mouth aspirators should be equipped with fine mesh screening on the vial end of the tubing held in the mouth so that insects and small particles are not inhaled. Stationary or slow moving insects can be picked from foliage by hand using forceps. Other species can be tapped onto a tray, beet sheet, or net by using a tool such as a racket. Biocontrol agents thus tapped off the foliage can then be gathered directly using an aspirator or sorted later using a sorting tray and aspirator. Avoid disturbing the plants before tapping because this will often cause biocontrol agents to jump or fly away. A leaf blower with reverse capability, an industrial strength wet-dry vacuum cleaner, or a specialized insect vacuum sampler can be equipped with a nylon mesh net on the inside mouth of the blowing tube to suck up adults of some species of biocontrol agents. This method is particularly useful for collecting small biocontrol agents such as flea beetles from weed rosettes. Rocks or debris vacuumed up may harm collected insects, so this method should only be applied to foliage. Adding rosette leaves to the net gives biocontrol agents substrates to crawl and hide on and reduces the suction strength. Light traps are used to collect nocturnal biocontrol agents, typically moths, that are otherwise difficult to collect during the day. Construct a wire or wooden framework to support our battery-operated lantern and beneath it a large funnel with a wide enough opening for large insects that rests inside a wide mouth jar with target weed material in the bottom. 
Place it somewhere sheltered near target weed infestation. Start the light at dusk and empty it in the morning. Alternatively, you can prop up a white sheet to serve as a reflecting surface and place a lantern in front of it on a stool. Hand collect the biocontrol agents attracted to the sheet as they land on the surface. Many similar looking mobs may be attracted with this method, so it's important that all mobs are properly identified as the target biocontrol agent before being transferred. A common method for collecting stem and leaf galling biocontrol agents, rust fungi, mites, and thrips, is to transfer infested plant material to new sites. Infested stems can be cut, bundled in groups of 20 to 50, and moved to new sites where those biocontrol agents are not yet established. It's important to ensure that weed seeds and roots are removed to prevent the introduction of new genetic material. Care should also be taken to avoid spreading other plant or insect species to new sites, as this may inadvertently create future problems.